to the national development agenda. Such reform initiatives include the implementation of the school-based management and monitoring systems and mandatory re registration for the teachers from 2016. Strategies to improve utilization of enabling platforms such as e-learning in schools and child protection are of equal importance. Madam Chairperson, research indicates that 12% of the school children around the globe have some sort of learning disability. As we discuss the hope in children's power to shape the future of the nation, we should not forget children with disabilities whose contribution and participation is of equal importance. I am happy to note that the government strives to be diligent in working in diligent in providing equal opportunities to children with disabilities to ensure they get an equal chance to grow and thrive. The government of Maldives, in association with various stakeholders and more importantly, children with disabilities themselves, aim to put a concerted effort to realize this goal. In Maldives, under an inclusive education policy that was enacted in 2012, children with disabilities now have the opportunity to access quality education. 54 schools across the country provide special, need, special classes for children with disabilities. A trained teacher for each school is expected to be stationed by the end of this year. Additionally, early intervention centers were established in the capital city, Mali, and three other adults. These centers provide early diagnosis, education, and care for children with disabilities. Madam Chapels, the Pramata program educates parents, teachers, therapists, and general public as means to nurture children with autism into independent contributing members of the society. This could be readily applicable to help, to help realize similar goals for children with various other disabilities. I would like to take this opportunity to commend the ambitious efforts of Pramata program to formulate a comprehensive education strategy that captures a multitude of talents in the areas of exceptional academic conduct, aptness for art and learning, Ruan and Sunan. Madam Chairperson, distinguished delegates, Children are indeed our hope for a more peaceful and prosperous tomorrow, both nationally and globally. Love your children unconditionally. Protect them, educate them, and guide them to become empathetic, able, and patriotic individuals. Before I conclude, I would like to take the opportunity to convey our sincere thanks for the warm hospitality extend to me and my delegation for the, and for the most pleasant arrangements made for this conference. I wish this conference every success. I thank you all. Wassalamu alaikum.